want people to know that he was a very kind, genuine person from the heart. And he'll also always be there for somebody, even if they're not there for him. Tonight, the family and loved ones remember one of the victims of the mass shooting in Brooklyn killed at just 20 years old. And so far, no one is charged in either death. Welcome to the news at 11, everyone. I'm Rick Ritter. And I'm Vic Carter. While the families of the victims continue to grieve, we're learning new details about the case against the only suspect arrested so far. One 17 year old has been charged with reckless endangerment and weapons charges in the case. That young man is not being named because of his age. His lawyer denies the allegation, saying his client had an Orbeez toy gun that shoots gel pellets, not a real gun. And attorney Michael Klinksnow says his client has not been charged in the deaths of Aliyah Gonzalez or Kylie's Fangbemi. City police staying pretty tight lipped right now. At last check, three of those victims remain hospitalized in fair condition. And WJZ is live at 11 o'clock tonight as Kelsey Kushner joins us downtown. And Kelsey was at that vigil for one of those victims. What did the family and their friends have to say? Vic, Rick, well, the parents tonight are still grieving the loss of their son, so they didn't want to give a one on one interview. However, during that vigil, the mother spoke. She said her son, Kylis, was one who would always brighten up the room whenever he walked in. His cousin telling me Kylis was loving, loyal, and taken way too soon. The mother of Kylis Fagbemi struggled to find the words to express her pain. Just over a week ago, her 20 year old son was shot and killed at a block party in the Brooklyn Homes neighborhood. 19 year old Aliyah Gonzalez was also killed and 28 others injured. Tuesday night, friends and family members came together to remember Kylis. I can't believe it. Like, it just shook me. Like, I couldn't believe it. I just didn't know what to say. Like, I cried. His cousin May says he was a smart guy who was loving and very loyal. He was good, a good cousin for real. Like, he was always there for me when I didn't need him. Like, no matter what. At the vigil, friends shared memories of Kylis. His girlfriend says he was funny and a great boyfriend. He was very kind and genuine, and he would put people before he would put himself. Those close with the family expressed outrage, calling for an end to the violence. We're tired. This has got enough is enough. Garner says Kylis never deserved this. And it did, that wasn't meant for him at all. He always be in my heart. We're looking. And again, police do have at least one suspect in custody at this moment, but they are still searching for other suspects they believe are still out there. They're asking if anybody has any information to contact them. Reporting live tonight, Kelsey Kushner for WJZ. So said, Kelsey, thank you.